Expose and spaces are two great features of OS X that make keeping track of windows and applications much easier. Here at the top, I can set Expose to run when I send my mouse pointer to a certain corner of the screen. If I set my top left corner to all windows, when I move my mouse to the upper left, Expose kicks in and every window that is open on my display will come into view. As I move over them, the window title comes up to let me know what I'm looking at. If that's the window I want to view, I can just click and it will come to the front of my display. If I just want the windows to go, to go back to how they were, I can send my mouse to the upper left corner again, Expose will turn off and things will go back to normal. I can also set Expose to just display windows of the application I'm currently using. I'm in System Preferences right now, so if I run Expose with this setting on, then just my one System Preferences window will be highlighted in Expose. If I switch to Desktop when I go to my hot corner, all my windows will be wiped to the edges of the screen, and I will have access to my desktop and the drives or disk mounted on it. This is a great option when you have a lot of windows open and just need to get to something on the desktop quickly. I can also set Dashboard to open when I go to a screen corner. I'll use the lower left to start Dashboard. It's a good idea to take some time and play with your Active Screen Corner settings to see which commands you prefer to enable by Active Screen Corners. You can also assign function keys to all the expose settings. Just use this menu to choose the key you want. If you have a multi-button mouse, you can also set your extra mouse buttons to activate Expose 2. Spaces goes a step further than Expose with organizing your desktop. Instead of having one desktop with all your applications and windows open on it, you can have multiple separate desktops. You can even assign certain applications to always open in a certain desktop or space. I'll click Enable Spaces and choose to show spaces in the menu bar. By default we start with four spaces. If I want more I can just click the plus symbol in, in rows or columns. I'll just stick with four spaces though. Next I'm going to assign an application to open in my second space. I'll tell iMovie and iPhoto to only open in space 2. Then I will assign, assign GarageBand to open in space 3. Now if I start up iPhoto, I'll be moved to, the, to space number 2 and iPhoto will open there. I can open Finder windows and use my dock like normal. If I click on the System Preferences icon, I'll be taken back to space 1 because that's where I was using it. If I open GarageBand, I'll be taken to space 3 and it will open. To move around my four spaces, I can just press Control and my arrow keys. This will let me cycle through my four spaces. 